All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today I'm going to show you how to bookmark stuff, how to manage your bookmarks, and delete bookmarks on the Florp web browser. So the simplest answer is, while you're out browsing, like I like to go to the NASA.gov website once in a while to check out all the latest, greatest James Webb Space Telescope images, because they are usually stunning and mesmerizing. Uh, but I don't always remember what the URL is, so I find myself going to Google and looking up different pictures to see who has the best ones most recently. To that end, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to bookmark this. I'm going to click on this little star button up in the upper right-hand corner here of my address bar for browsing the web, and this will allow me to bookmark it and put this in a specific location. I can put this on the bookmarks toolbar, and then I can, if I want, put it into one of these folders that I've created already. Uh, if I want to create a folder, it's as easy as right-clicking the bookmark toolbar and adding a folder. Cool space stuff. And then from here, I can click this again. I can go to my bookmarks toolbar, and I can click on the cool space stuff folder and hit save. And now this web page is bookmarked under cool space stuff, so I can go back here whenever I want. Now, it's worth mentioning that sometimes you bookmark stuff by accident. There's a couple ways to clean that up. The first one is you can literally go in here and remove bookmark if you literally just bookmarked the wrong location, which is something that happens. You can also go inside of one of your existing folders where you've got other different bookmarks from a million years ago, and you can find something that you don't use anymore, and you can right-click it and delete that bookmark as well. You can do that to an entire folder full of stuff that you can get rid of an entire folder at once. But what if you want to manage all of your bookmarks in one place? Well, if you go to your settings, which is these three little lines in the upper right-hand corner, there's actually a manage bookmarks setting hiding inside of here that we can grab. So if we go to bookmarks, we can go to manage bookmarks down here at the bottom. And this is a list of all of the different bookmarks that we currently have, uh, including stuff that is listed under other bookmarks, which I'm not really sure what all this stuff is, but I can go through and I can start deleting them if I want. And then you can also make edits to them. Like maybe you mislabeled this. You can also go through and you can edit the details of all these bookmarks. Like maybe you want to sort them by tags or by keyword. You can actually add keywords and tags so you can search through your bookmarks really easily to find what you are looking for. You can give it a different name. Or, again, if you want to just get rid of it entirely, you can just right-click it, and you can delete that bookmark, open it in a new private window, which is incognito mode. You can cut, copy, paste them. You can add bookmarks into here manually, add them to a folder, add a separator between them. All of these good things can be done right here inside of this menu. You can even add them to your sidebar over here if you want. You can have it open up a page like this page here. You can have it open up this website, and then you can save changes, and then there's a little NASA logo here in my sidebar that will open up a secondary window here to a NASA web page if I want, using this sidebar on the right-hand side, and I can delete this as well. So you get a lot of options here to change things, to tweak things, to add bookmarks, remove bookmarks. So check it out. It's pretty easy to use. But it gives you a lot more control than I think you realize. So that'll be it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.